but doing things like, say, CADC forward uh, against his, uh, say, Oki release X. Yep. The, the baby, the baby slaps, the baby jabs. Oh, uh, the Scooby. Yeah, Scooby. Yeah, Scooby. So. Certain off of a projectile trade. Ooh, yeah, didn't really there with that. Yeah. Dragon Rush just about. Wow, okay. Managed to push uh, Gengar just far enough to avoid the Shadow Punch. Dale running off to the side. He's looking for the spacing to punish anything. One of, yeah, one of Garchomp's best options is uh, you know, field is his mobility. He's got the fastest field pace movement. So using that to avoid projectiles all the time is uh, pretty good. Alright, that sludge bomb coming out. Find that attack debuff on Dale. Dale does have Umbreon, however. Just by going for the full face shift. Earthquake doing this little Fade it out. Dropping that CA at an unfortunate time and getting punched by that JS. I was about to say he had that too. Alright, Pocket Sand punishing that Shadow Ball. Ooh, Air Dragon Rush trying to bait out that CADC in final. There hasn't been a whole lot of sand You know, Ooh. Same here. Oh, barely got him, too. Ah, I dropped a little too fast. Ooh, you know, lasting hitbox. Ooh. Yep. Gotta watch out for that. It's, it's, it's tricky. That jab of get Mega Gengar, it's incredibly active, and it's deceiving, just like his charged Shadow Ball, as to how actually long it is out there. So Spud wasting no curve. Ooh! to bait out an attack, unfortunately. It's in Spud's favor there. Charged Shadow Ball is just going to try to wait this out. Control space, Ooh. yeah. This is going to hurt. I, you know, I honestly get what he was going for there because the uh, the J release X has anti projectile properties, so he was just trying to get rid of the Shadow Ball. But I think he accidentally carried into that follow up. Nice CA DC, Shadow sneaking straight through that CA and grab punch. Spud's gonna snag this first one here. Honestly, the well. SK Dale has a lot of other characters under his belt. I don't know if there's any that would be confident enough against Spud's game guard. Um, we know he's got a pretty decent scissor, but I don't know that matchup. Um, and he's been poking around with some other characters, but it's just that. He's been kind of exploring, not really like declaring it a secondary by any means. Yeah. All right, we got that homing, stuffing out the uh, vulnerable friends on that CA. Shadow Ball catching Garchomp running in and an Astonish for the pickup. The bait out of these pocket sands is just really smart on Spud's, uh, Spud's ball. Nice, Ghost Ash helping. Why Astonish. Definitely a frame trap to not be uh, disrespectful about. Especially when you're a big character like Garchomp or Machamp or Charizard. It's, you, you can't really do much about that. Right, right. That's new. Hmm? That he's like recovering from the jump super duper fast. Which one? Um, I think it's, no, uh, Spud. I don't know how, oh, um, but it was like on, on some of the Okies, it looked like he was canceling out of either the, uh, dash back, um, or, I'm not sure. It just looked like he recovered from it, like, super, super fast. 
I don't think it was a float attack because they took that out. Honestly, it's um trying to punish Gengar. Like if you aren't already throwing out a move against his Shadow Sneak, then you're not going to punish it. It's a very slim window as far as punishing it. All right, Dragon uh, Claw going in. Moving on, sapping that synergy. Ooh, okay. Woo. Accidental cross up putting him in the corner was not really good. <laughs> You gotta be careful here. Why? Nice conversion. Ah! That's a little too reactive to try to uh, bait out an attack like that. Perhaps he was thinking it was Scooby. Ooh, nice. Okay. Yeah. You know when he gets that, he was expecting the burst. It, it was totally a <laughs> Here comes. Now. Nice deal does have the option of CA DC through these lasers. Yeah, I expect him to get this counter that fast. Okay, good jump. Careful, mm, not good jump. Okay, ah. Dragon Run. Ah, ah. Kind of jump. This is tough. Honestly, Spud brings on such a really good pressure, like you were saying earlier, set play. Um, it's tough to try to figure it out. Yeah, like so. Breaking down Gengar set play, so like you have um, Scooby as as a uh, option, uh, Astonish as an option, or JY Astonish. So with Astonish generally and JY Astonish, generally the right thing to do is like just do a normal CA uncharged, unless you see him like do Shadow Sneak into a JX kind of thing. But, yeah, Gengar set down that charge shadow ball. Ooh, he almost got that too. Ah, Arctic barely not reaching. Dang, alright. These release hacks are just not working against the uh, gateways at all. Yeah, it's a very big disjointed hitbox. It's not really something you can anti-air reliably. 8Y, nice Ooh, grab okay. punish. Yeah, definitely a punish because um, I think even a lock gets punished anyway. Well, I think it's only punishable by 9 frames, so because of the lift, that worked yeah. out. Pocket Sand actually hit in that side. Yeah, to do that it. air dragon rush there. Like, I, I wish I knew what to advise in this matchup more, but just Gengar is tough to figure out. I would advise against not using Air Dragon Rush, because between Sure Spud's, you know, invincible backdashes, 8Y being, you know, mid-high and vulnerable on frame one, and definitely a bunch of big damage, long combos off of crit CA, it's, it's, you gotta calculate your risk reward here. Yeah. Obviously, those lasting hitboxes really help against all the, the ga uh, ghost dashing. So, nice catch vulnerables there. Whoop. All right. Oh, nice. nice. Okay. Jump J Y. Get him. All right. I love it. Umbreon. Yeah, really, really good choice there. Oh no. And they're back to being even on meter. Honestly, Spud doesn't have much reason to use it. Like, he could, but he could also save it for the next round in case uh, SKDL does win, and he's actually going to take a synergy here. First Spud looking for any hit to just put his health down. Yeah. First Spud calling yeah, out. Called it okay. out. See, that Jay Wild is catching SK Dale pressing buttons just after his burst activation. You just and gotta watch yep. it. No, that was really smart on Spud's part there because he was just trying to get enough damage, and that's why he went for the, I think that's the 2XX app in there, just to get enough damage to manage that timeout. Really, really smart from Spud. I 